What's going on everybody? I am the goods on YouTube, TG Soka, everywhere else. Today's video is going to be a question that I often get asked. It is about, well, at least I've been getting asked this a lot fairly recently. It's about uh, editing female characters and they want to know, people want to know, like, why are the characters invisible? All right, so what I need to do is, hold on one second. Let me delete some of these player DNAs that I have. I'm just gonna delete all of them. Except for the placeholders. All right, so I'll keep the placeholders there. I'm gonna turn one of them into a female. So I'm gonna need a female cyber face so that I can show you guys this example of a female player showing as invisible and then me making the player visible. All right, so what I need to do is I have a file. Hold on, bear with me for just a little bit, please. Oh. All right, let's go to 2K20. Just need a female cyber face. All right, I'll use Doris Burke, 6025. All right, 6025. I'm gonna assign her face. All right. I should assign her to the other one, but that's okay. All right, now we got Doris Burke there, okay? Now this one right here, this is a male face. And if we go into edit player, of course, he shows up just fine. Now this is Imani Bates by Petty Paul Pierce. But this is not the subject of the video. And man, this face looks pretty good now that I'm looking at it. All right, anyway. Let's get out of here. The male player shows up. But now we're gonna look back at Doris Burt and when we go to edit player for her, well, she's invisible. We have all the options, but we cannot see Doris Burt. So how do we get Doris Burt to show up? Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, once we get Doris Burt to show up, the male players will actually turn invisible. So right now the female players are invisible, but once I do this solution, the male players will become invisible. So I'm going to show you how to switch in between those. All right. So let me pull up my file for you guys. Let's see. I've got some files. Okay. So free agency and cap female. These are the jerseys for free agency and create a player females. So I'm going to go to that folder. Here are the file names right here. And you need all of this, which I'll have the link in the description to this whole folder. All you have to do is just throw it in your Wegua folder. So basically what I do is I'll keep two folders. Let's see. Hold on one second. I've got a ton of folders, but basically I keep if I were you guys and you want to know the simplest way to do this. Hold on one second. All right. Yeah, just keep two folders and then whenever you want the female, just grab all these and put it in your Wegua folder, copy it over to your Wegua folder. And then whenever you want the males to show back up, copy this back over to your Wegua folder. All right. Right now, I don't have either one of them in my Wegua folder, but I'm going to put the female files in my way Google folder i'm using a mod enabler i've done a video on that if you don't know how to use a mod enabler don't worry about it just copy the files over to your way Google folder and now watch when i go into mail a male character he's going to be invisible so now he's invisible but if i'm making a female character she will be visible Hey, 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 hey. Females will only show up if they are wearing a female jersey. That is the reason. And that males will only show up if 
if a male jersey is a sign. So right now for free agents and creative players and player DNA, I have a female jersey assigned for those type of players. All right. So that's why the female is now showing up and why the male is no longer showing up. So what you would do to get the male to show back up is now you could either restart the game. Well, first and foremost, you would have to remove the files that you just put in your Wegua folder. And I can just remove them here by doing this. But um, and then you could restart the game and then the males will show back up in that screen. Or if you didn't want to restart the game, then where did it go? Oh, goodness. Jerseys, jerseys, there it is. All right, jerseys, free agents, and cat mail. Basically, what I did just now by doing that is the equivalent of copying and pasting files into my Wegua folder. Um, okay, he looks a little weird now. I'm not sure why he looks like that now. Let me see. Let me go back. He wasn't messed up at first, right? I'm not really sure why he's messed up now. Oh, I do know why. Because I think I'm using a different glow. What? You know what? I don't know why. Hold on. Well, anyway, the male players show back up. That's all that matters. It shouldn't be messed up like mine is. Um, I don't really know why mine is messed up now. All of a sudden. But anyway, it works. Let me see if I just go to a regular creator player. What will happen? All right, the jersey shows back up as normal, so we're good. I don't know who these guys are and I don't remember creating them. But anyway, that's all I have to show you. I'll have uh, both sets of files down in the description in the video description. Thanks again for you guys checking out my video. I got that question quite often. So there you guys have it. And until next time, the goods, I am gone.